below in this problem, we are going to find the limit of the square root of 9x squared plus 3x minus 3x as x approaches infinity. So to do a problem like this, because we have a minus sign and we have a radical here, typically one good approach is to rationalize. So you want to think of this as something over 1. And so now what we're going to do is multiply by the following. This is the square root of 9x squared plus 3x. And then we just change the sign, plus 3x. And then we do the same thing here because basically we're multiplying by 1. So this is parentheses square root 9x squared plus 3x plus 3x. Just like that. Okay, so now we're going to use a familiar formula, the difference of squares formula. It says if you have a minus b times a plus b, we know that this is a squared minus b squared. So here, this is the limit as x approaches infinity. So this piece here is our a. So when we square it, we're just going to get 9x squared plus 3x minus, and this is our b. So when we square it, we're going to square the 3 and square the x. So we get 9x squared over, and then 1 times this piece is just that piece. So we have 9x squared plus 3x plus 3x. Boom, boom. So this is equal to the limit. As x approaches neg uh, infinity of 3x over. I'm just going to go ahead and write this again. Square root of that plus 3x. Okay, so now what we're going to do um, is we're going to uh, clean this up. So to clean this up, we basically um, need to, you know, try to think about what's happening down here. So it would be really nice to get rid of this 9x squared so we can just, you know, make sense of this problem. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do the following. I'm going to multiply this by 1 over x, and then I'm going to multiply this by 1 over the square root of x squared. Now realize here um, that, actually, I'm just going to do 1 over x. Okay, so this is equal to, I'll explain it in the next step, there's a trick. So 3x times 1 over x is just going to be 3 over, and then we're going to distribute this. So 1 over x times this is this, plus, and then here we have 3x over x. So the trick is this, um, the square root of x squared is equal to the absolute value of x, and that's equal to a piecewise function. And that's x uh, if x is greater than or equal to 0, and it's minus x if x is less than 0. So in this particular problem, x is approaching infinity. So x is positive. So the square root of x squared is x. So you can change this to the square root of x squared. I'm just going to do it now. In the next step, we can combine them. So this is the limit. It's a really cool trick, and it's really important because this comes up in other areas of math. So now this is the square root of. So it's this over this. So it's 9x squared plus 3x over x squared plus 3. This is the limit as x approaches infinity. So 3 over. So now we can break this up. 9x squared over x squared is just 9. Plus 3x over x squared is just 3 over x plus 3. And so now we're in a place where it's much easier to see what the limit is going to be, right? Because initially at the beginning of the problem, this was not like super clear. Like, what is this limit, right? So now it's a little bit easier to see because when x is approaching infinity, you can clearly see that 3 over x approaches 0. So this is going to be 3 over the square root of 9 plus 0 plus 3. Square root of minus 3, so you get 3 over 3 plus 3. So you get 3 over 6, so you just get 1 over 2, and that's the answer. So just another way um, to think about the problem. Just a pretty nice solution, I think. So whenever you see something like this, uh, this is usually a good approach to the problem. Good luck.